Hello, we're back, it's Al 153, here at Arya's place watching the football game. It is a willing moment to study the Kabbalah. <coughs> so we were talking about the Bracha, and we were reading from the Shara Kavanot of the Arizal, the greatest Kabbalist of the past, besides perhaps Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai or um, Arya's grandfather. Anyhow, <coughs> So, we were saying that the word Baruch is in the sphera of Yesod. Now, we wanted to explain, first of all, what a sphera is. And when we say a sphera, we mean a vessel that contains light, a purely spiritual illumina illumination. So, um, it roughly corresponds to the body. However, the, again, as we said, the Kabbalah is the um, real truth as opposed to the physical world, which is the parable. Now, the world is just as real as Kabbalah. In other words, what we do in this world is not less important than our, our, our visits to the spirit worlds. However, the idea is that this world is a parable, and the upper worlds and the world of the soul is the solution, or the, re the reality, the meaning behind the parable, the moral to the story. So um, the blessing, Baruch Atah Hashem Elokeinu Melech Olam. So Baruch is in Yisod, the Sphira in Zer Anpin. But it's not, it's not in Zer Anpin, it's in Avanima. Remember the last, um, the last, remember this sheet in the last thing, the last segment? We had a sheet here, which shows the white circles are the ten Sphirot of Abba and Ima. And Abba and Ima are in a constant state of union. They're, as the Zohar says, they exist together and go out together. They're constantly united, even as just like a father and mother, even when they're not in the same room, they're still always together. So, in the black dots are the spirits of Zeranpin. Now, this, this uh, chart that I made is a little misleading, because Zeranpin, these black dots are the spirits of Zeranpin, could be below the, the low th lower three white spirits of Abba and Ima also. But the upper three, basic principle is like this. The, the highest sphere is, is often Keter, but we don't count Keter as one of the spherots. Keter is just, is, is already the, the light from above. God's will is Keter. So um, the upper, th Zeranpin is normally in an active state of six spherots. The middle three and the lower three. Chesed words fair and Netzachot is so. The, um, the upper three, where, so when does Zeranpin get its upper three, the, the wisdom and understanding and consciousness? These upper three spherot of Zeranpin are bestowed from the union of Abba and Ima. The Abba and Ima are united, and when, when, the, when Zeranpin is ready, at times like on Shabbat or at a time of prayer, then, then, then these spherot are, so to speak, the light is drawn into inactive spherot of Zeranpin, and they are activated. They are activated by having the, the light brought into them. So you know, all, every part suf always has ten spherot. However, the higher they go, the more they are constantly active. So for instance, you have five part sufim, five divine images. Abba and Ima are the two higher. Um, there's Arech Anpin, which is, corresponds to Keter, which is even higher. But the second two, the second and third, are Abba and Ima. That's, um, the, so there's, a, there's the divine images or archetypes of the father and the mother. And, and they give birth to the lower two, which are Zeranpin, the, the small face, or the sun, S-O-N, and uh, Nukfa, or Malchut, the bride which is even even lower. So the, the way they connect these divine persona, images, archetypes, however you want to say, we're going to use the word partsuf. The way these partsufim, in the plural, connect is always that, that the middle sphera of tiferet. From the top, again, I'll point to the chart. Where's tiferet in Abu Ni'ima? Tiferet is right here. That's tiferet. You see it connects up to, to uh, strength, Gevora, and up to Chesed, uh, love. And um, 
So Tiferet is actually on the up level of the father and mother, Abba that's where the Keter, the crown of Zeranpin is. And from there, the divine energies, the light, God's light is drawn below. And so these lower three here are actually, instead of three dots, in our, and for our purposes now, I said they, these diagrams change and are dynamic. So for now, our purposes now, it's just the lower, the upper three black dots in the right, left, and middle columns. Those are the three uh, Chochma, Bina, and Dat of Zeranpin. So th- to make a short story long, when, um, when we say the word Baruch in a blessing, we are basically in two, operating on two simultaneous levels. We are at one, at, on one side, we are in Chochma and Bina of Zeranpin, but we're also in Netzach and Hod and Yisod, of really Yisod. We are in Yisod of Abba and Ima. So the Yisod of Abba, the Netzachod and Yisod are one unit, one triad. So these three go down and they join together and create the head or the mochin, the, the, the intellectual faculties of the, the, the spirit image called Zeranpin, the small fist. So, and so in Baruch, the theurgic intention the, um, the, 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 what we're thinking about behind the words in the world of the Sfirot and the world of the Kabbalah is, is that Zeranpin is, is a, vehicle, a vessel, the upper three Sfirot of Zeranpin are, 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 the, are the place of a union of the, the father and the mother on the lower levels, which in the, in the physical counterpart is like, is like a, a sexual union of the father and mother. So again, I'm reading the Arizal. Baruch is in Yisod. So the Yisod is the Yisod of the father and mother. But it's also in Chochmah and Bina of Zeranpin. So that's why he says, Kizeh a Baruch of the Yisod. This Baruch is in Yisod, the upper Yisod of Chochmah. So, uh, so on one level, you could also read it another way. You say that every sphere. Bear in mind, every one of the ten illuminations, the ten spherot, includes ten. So the upper yis- when he mentions the upper yisod of of chokhma, it's meaning it, it's really it's referring to the yisod of Abba and Im. And the and in and Abba, the, the channel which brings the shefer is called the the the, cha- the shvil, the pathway. So you have the intention to draw this shefer and unite the yisod. The foundation of, of the father with Bina, with the mother, and the, so you have that. This is called Nitiv. So the word for a path in the male side is called Shvil, and the word for a path or channel in the female side is called Nitiv. These, even the very letters of these words, have intentions, which which are an advanced level. So this this channel is called Baruch, blessed. And the nativ, the channel on the mother's side, is called bracha. So we have baruch, blessed, and bracha is a blessing. And together, they they you, they all they both have the same numerical equivalence. In other words, if you add up the letters of baruch, beit resh vav chaf in in Jewish numerology gematria, that would add up to um, 228. And bracha is also 228. Well, just between us is 227. But in Kabbalah, the, the system of the ancients is you can always add one. So it all it all adds up to 228. If you add the four letters of the word, in other words, you get to 228, and then you also add another four, one for each letters of Baruch, Beit, Resh, Vav, and Chaf, you get the gematria of 232. And that is the numerical equivalent of the four expansions of God's name, Av, Sag, Ma, and Ben. Now, I have, a, I have a feeling that nobody has any idea what I'm talking about. So in the next YouTube segment, I'm going to show you the way God's name is written out and the numerical equivalence and how it all adds up. Thank you very much. Live from Arias with the football game in the background in Jerusalem, Betzala 153.